presenting a, a little research project that I did together with Tim Toyka from the TU Berlin. Ben Zekorte was also in the audience I saw, and Martijn, who we just, we just heard. Um, and I'm Judith Kass, I'm from the Berlin Social Science Center, um, and I'm going to talk today about the effectiveness of imported ratings on, on hiring intention uh, of people on platforms. Um, so first of all, we know from earlier research that ratings increase trust. So this is just one example where, um, uh, where the researchers created fake profiles on Airbnb, sent uh, requests with these guest profiles to hosts, and then they recorded how many of these um, requests were accepted by the hosts and how many were not. Uh, and we see that there's a strong increase in the, the number of positive requests um, if, the, if the guest had at least one positive review. This is just one example. There's been a lot of research on this topic and we know it generally works. Uh, in the current talk, I'm focusing on gig platforms, uh, not on sharing economy platforms, but really on, on platforms where workers can do tasks. And I'm going to talk about the importance of imported ratings. Well, the idea is this. If there is a client on such a platform who is uh, looking for a worker to do a specific task, and if the client can choose between a worker with a rating and a worker without a rating, we know that they'll generally go for the worker with the rating because this person has proven to be able to complete a task successfully. So this, task, uh, this client chooses this worker. And because on these platforms, generally ratings can only be given after a successful transaction, um, this choice of the client will not only result in work for the worker, but also in another uh, rating for this worker. And then if the next client shows up, uh, they can now choose between a worker without ratings and a worker with two ratings, um, which makes it even more likely that this client will choose the rate worker with ratings. The result of this is that some workers accumulate much more ratings than others, simply because some people are uh, new to the, to the platform and haven't had the chance to, to accumulate ratings yet. Um, so it's very important for a worker to get that first rating in a way, to, to get over that uh, step and to, to join in this process of uh, rating accumulation. Um, the thing is that, for example, here you have a worker, uh, an Uber driver, who has a positive um, uh, rating on Uber. If this worker uh, now wants to work on Lyft, which offers similar services, the worker cannot take their, uh, their rating from Uber to Lyft. So this, this driver has to start all over on Lyft. So um, even though this person has successfully completed a lot of rides in the past, maybe on Uber, um, if they go to Lyft, no one can see that. So our talking today is about rating portability, the possibility to take ratings, for example, from Uber to Lyft to use both platforms at the same time, or to, to just completely switch to a different platform. Um, there has been some earlier research on this topic. So, for example, this is a study by Tim Toypner, who's also a co-author on the, the current project. And what they did is um, they asked people, or they basically showed people um, workers on different platforms or uh, users of different platforms, and they asked them, so how much would you trust this person? And what they varied um, is whether these, these fake people they were evaluating, whether they had ratings from different platforms. So for example, they showed them an Uber driver, um, and this Uber driver either had ratings on Uber, or this Uber driver had ratings only on another platform, for example, on eBay. And then they asked, okay, how much would you trust uh, this driver? And what they find is, first of all, that imported ratings increase trust in this uh, trust in this uh, in this context. So, if an Uber driver had an eBay rating, um, this driver was trusted more than if an Uber driver had no ratings at all on on, on of the platform. Their second finding was that the effect of imported ratings depends on the source target fit. So, as you can imagine, um, Uber is basically a taxi service. Um, what happens on Uber, Uber is much more similar to what happens on BlaBlaCar than what happens to what happens on eBay, because eBay is a selling platform and BlaBla is a carpooling platform. So it helps an Uber driver more to have a rating from BlaBlaCar than to have a rating from eBay. The problem with this earlier study is that it varied multiple things at the same time. So um, they did not only vary where the rating came from, so from BlaBlaCar, eBay, Uber, or Airbnb, um, but because these platforms um, facilitate different types of services, it also automatically varies the, the type of job. Um, so if someone has an Uber rating, that automatically means that this person has been a driver. Whereas if someone has an eBay rating, that probably means that this person has sold something, which is something completely different. Obviously. 
So what we're doing in the current project is to disentangle, disentangle these two things. Um, so the question we're trying to answer is, does the effect of ratings on hiring intention depend on, first of all, the source of the rating? So is the rating earned on the same platform as this person is active on now? Or is the rating imported from a different platform? And the second dimension we're looking at is the job in which the ratings were earned. So is that the same job or another job? I think someone didn't mute their microphone because I hear oh, I can hear know. someone. Thank you. All right. So how did we do this? So we looked at the source of the rating and we looked at the different job. Um, what we did is we collaborated with these five platforms. So Young Ones, Temper, and Levelworks, all different, like facilitate the matching of workers to clients on several types of jobs. Uh, Charlie Cares is a babysitting platform, and Helply in the Netherlands, at least, is a cleaning platform. And what we did is we invited the clients from five of these platforms to participate in a, in a little survey. And we asked them, OK, you're using this platform. What was the last? Um, what was the last task you hired someone for? So for example, if, um, if the client indicated that they had last hired a cleaner, um, that's what we saw. Then we ask them to imagine that they're again hiring someone for that same job. So for example, for a cleaning task. And if this was a cleaner from Young Ones or a, a, a client from Young Ones, we ask them, so please imagine that you're again hiring someone for a cleaning task via Young Ones. Then we show them the profile of a hypothetical worker. So this is something we made up. This is not a real person. Um, but what the, the, the respondent saw was something that looked like this. So there was the logo of the platform they're active on. Um, there was a blurred picture and a hidden name. Um, and then we varied the type of rating information visible in this profile. So we varied whether the hypothetical worker had on-site ratings. So these are ratings earned on the same platform. And we varied if the worker had imported ratings. So these are ratings from a different platform. And then for both types of ratings, we also varied if they were earned for the same job or for a different job. So in this example, where the client last hired someone for a cleaning job, um, the, the worker either had a rating for cleaning or for a different job. I don't know, a promotion job, hospitality job, something else. So this is an example of a worker who has uh, on-site ratings. So these ratings are earned on the same platform, Young Ones in this case, and for the same job, clearly. So some of the workers we created had no rating at all. So not on the platform and not important. Some workers had ratings within the, the current platform and that was either for the same job or for the other job. Some workers had imported ratings, so that was also for the same job or for another job. And then last, there were some workers who had both types of ratings, so both ratings on the same platform and imported ratings. And for some of them, both were earned with the same job, so both cleaning ratings. For some, it was uh, both for a different um, for a different job, so for example, for promotion. And some had uh, one for the same job, one for the other job. We then asked the respondents um, if they would hire, how likely it is that they would hire the worker based on this profile. And they could indicate this on a seven point scale from no, not at all to yes, absolutely. All right, then we go to the results. The first question we, we tried to answer was, uh, do on-site ratings increase hiring intention? So this is basically a replication of what has been done before. Do ratings within a platform increase uh, hiring intention? For that, we first look at the profiles without any ratings. So they're basically empty profiles. We see that for these empty profiles, uh, the clients indicated that they would, uh, like indicated a 3.5 on the seven point scale for hiring intention. We now compare uh, this, this score um, with the average hiring intention for people who have on-site ratings for the same job. So that's this example, ratings earned on young ones, for a cleaning job. And we also compared it with um, ratings that were earned on the same platform, but for a different job. If we look at ratings earned on the same platform for a different same job, we see that leads to a clear increase in, um, in hiring intention. And actually, if we look at ratings earned uh, on, the, on the same platform, but for a different job, that also increases hiring intention. So we conclude that on-site ratings increase hiring intention, which, which is a replication of earlier findings. 
The second question we look at is, do imported ratings increase hiring intention? So before we looked at ratings earned on the same platform, and now we're looking at ratings that come from another platform. Again, we look at um, the comparison with the, 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 the profile that had no ratings at all. And we compare it with uh, a worker who has uh, ratings from another platform for the same job, and workers who have ratings from another platform and for a different job. So again, this is that uh, the average hiring intention for workers who have no rating. And we see that ratings from uh, a different platform that are important from a different platform, but that are for the same job, again, they increase hiring intention. But then if we look at ratings that are from a different platform, but for a different job, we see that there's no significant difference with the, the no rating condition. Um, so this means that imported ratings for the same job increase hiring intention, but imported ratings for a different job don't. Um, this makes sense in a way because um, different jobs require different skills and different levels of trust. Um, so if a, a rating is earned in a different job, it makes sense that the effect of it is smaller. Then finally, we look at uh, the last question, which is, does the effect of imported ratings depend on on-site ratings? So what we're doing now is looking at, can imported ratings add to um, if there is already on-site ratings? So what we did is first, we looked at uh, workers who have ratings on the same platform for the same job. And then we look at um, workers who have also have on-site ratings for the same job, but then in addition to that, they also have imported ratings for the same job and for the other job. So here you see that people have both on-site ratings and imported ratings. So if we first look at the people who only have ratings from on the same platform, um, so the average hiring intention is about 5.5, and then we compare that to people who, in addition to these on-site ratings, also have imported ratings, and we see that there's no difference. So this means that if someone already has uh, on-site ratings, it, it doesn't help them to also import ratings from a different platform. Um, and that's the same for uh, ratings that are from a different platform and for a different job. So based on this, we conclude that imported ratings increase hiring intention, but only, first of all, when they're earned in the same job. So when they're earned in a different job, it doesn't work. And second of all, when there are no on-site ratings present. So this only works for people who are really new to a platform and then don't have ratings there yet. They can use their ratings from a different platform to actually get them over the hurdle of getting that first uh, transaction. So all in all, this suggests that imported ratings may help solve the lock-in in platforms. It can help new workers to get over that. Um, uh, over that first barrier of getting a first transaction if they're new to a platform. But it is good to keep in mind that this helps people who have been active on a different platform, but it can actually harm people who have never been active in the platform economy at all, um, because they're now competing with people, first of all, who have ratings uh, within the same platform, but also with people who are new to this current platform, but who, um, um, who have been active on different platforms and now can bring in that extra information uh, to the current platform. Um, so that was it for, for now. Uh, I must say that this is very much work in progress. Um, so this is not a paper, like a published paper yet or anything. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always send me an email uh, and I'm happy to respond. Thank you. You did uh, great. Thank you very much uh, for, your, uh, for your contribution. Uh, maybe you can stop sharing screen so then uh, we, uh, we see you again. Ah, great. Thank you very much. Uh, there's one question uh, in the chat. Uh, the question is, are the results model estimates or averages? Yeah, so the results I just show are controlled for, uh, for all sorts of things. So the platform that this client was active on, the job or the job, job type they were hiring someone for. So this is controlled for a number of uh, things. OK, great. Thank you very much. Um, I think, uh, yeah, really interesting uh, uh, research uh, uh, we did, of course, it's always nice to say that your research is interesting, but I think what it really showed is that that's, that's, uh, at, 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 uh, at uh, what part, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the, the existing picture uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, says the same, and, and, and then also how can we contrib contribute in, in that. There's one question, uh, what was the sample size per platform? 
Yeah, we had a total of 180 participants and it wasn't completely evenly distributed over the conditions because, um, for example, on Charlie Cares, there's only one type of job um, offered. So we couldn't show people on Charlie Cares um, ratings from within the platform for a different job because that's just not, that doesn't happen in real time. Uh, but in total, there were 180 uh, respondents. Okay, cool. And uh, so it was also a combination uh, between the two business and two consumer platforms. Uh, and I also saw also the also with the research is that to consumer uh, platform they have they have they have of course much more clients uh, 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 than uh, to business platforms because they have only a few uh, clients, uh, uh, so many workers per client. Um, I see that Bill also has a question, uh, but I don't see it in the chat. So Bill, if you just can unmute yourself and. Uh, start speaking uh, hi hi so nice to see you guys again uh, judith i, I like the presentation I, I i was wondering if you have negative reviews like the first review is very important no like the first re review is negative on your own site then if you like transfer your positive reviews then would it have it like a effect that i don't know zeros out on total or doesn't have an effect did you have a chance to look at that or you don't have a any no we we didn't we only looked at positive uh, ratings here because we already had nine conditions uh, so there was no way we could also introduce negative ratings but i definitely think that's that's interesting like can can um can positive imported ratings uh, cancel out negative on-site ones um, we chose to look at positive ratings because it's very unlikely that people are actually going to bring in negative ratings from different platforms uh, but that's definitely an interesting question for the future. I think this question in general is very interesting. Like how do these imported ratings help people who have them and who don't have them? And how does it, does it help incumbents of the existing platforms? I think there's much more to explore there. What time you're muted. Sorry, thank you very much. Uh, last question is also from Ferelia. Uh, were your respondents only working within the platform economy or also combining jobs inside and outside platforms? Um, I think maybe good to highlight that this was a research on platform clients, not on platform workers. Um, and it was both to business as uh, to consumer clients. And Jeroen will, uh, will have the, uh, the talk about research uh, under your platform workers uh, and can give more insights in, uh, in that. Uh, so you thank you very much. Uh, also, thank you very much in uh, contributing with, with this research. I think we also need to continue this because in the end, it would, it would be also interesting to see, okay, what will happen when you also add uh, the skills uh, you are using uh, for for the jobs, so maybe that can also help uh, some cross sector matching um, uh, within the gig uh, within the gig economy.